Hello friends, this video polynomials part 10 is brought to you by examfa.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched polynomials part 1 to part 9. Now again, the relationship between zeros and coefficient of cubic polynomials. Till now we have seen quadratic polynomial. Now let's see the relationship between zeros and coefficients of cubic polynomial. Here, if alpha, beta and gamma are zeros of this cubic polynomial because cubic polynomial of this form a cube plus bx square plus cx plus d this cube actually then alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a and alpha beta into gamma is minus d by a this is the formula we have I will prove this in front of you just now so let's it is told that alpha, beta and gamma are 0 of the polynomial. So I can write ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. This whole thing I can write as k into x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma. I have done the same thing. For the quadratic polynomial also, I have written this in this form k into x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, where alpha, beta and gamma are the zeros of this cubic polynomial and k is some constant. This, if you see, this becomes k into this, we have we already know x minus alpha into x minus beta is nothing but x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. Correct? This thing into x minus gamma. So let's solve it further. x into x square is nothing but x cube minus alpha plus beta into x into x that is x square plus alpha b into i into x is equal to alpha beta x minus minus gamma into x square. So let's say minus gamma into x square correct minus gamma into alpha plus beta into x this plus actually minus gamma into this minus plus and minus alpha beta this is what we have got so let's put x square x all together the coefficients so this becomes k into x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma x square this we have taken these two we have taken plus alpha beta plus this becomes gamma alpha plus gamma beta this into x correct that means we have taken these two minus alpha beta gamma correct this is the value we have now if you compare these two equations, this equation, this is equation 1, this is equation 1 let's suppose and equation 2, both are same equation actually, both are derived from the same values. The same equation is written in this form. So we can compare the ratios of the, what do you call, x cube, x square, x and constant terms. So we can write, if we compare the x cube terms, we get a by k. If you compare the x square term, you will get b by minus of alpha plus beta plus gamma right this is equal to c by alpha beta plus gamma alpha plus gamma beta and this is if you d d is the constant term by minus alpha beta and k k is everywhere actually this is k because k is a product everywhere, everywhere you have k. Then cancel k also, just to make things simple. Correct? Now, this is, let's suppose, my equation 3, this is 4, this is 5, and this is 6. Now, when you compare 3 and 4, from 3 and 4, what we get? Alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus mu by one. So if we compare 3 and 4, we will get alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus by a. 
Similarly, if you compare 3 and 5, what you get? Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to C by A. 3 and 5 they are comparing, 3 and 5. Correct? And if now if you compare 3 and 6, what you get? Alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by So we have three equations. Equation. We have three things. Alpha plus beta is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a. And alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a. Correct? And that is what we have written here. You see, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to C by A and alpha beta gamma is equal to minus D by A. This is nothing but relationship between coefficients and zeros where alpha beta gamma are zeros and A, B, C, D all these are coefficients of this cubic polynomial. Thus we have derived a relationship between zeros of cubic polynomials and coefficients of the cubic polynomial. Please understand and learn this formula. It is crucial. We will have to use this formula again and again. So let me repeat this. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a. Alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a. If you are not able to understand this, you can ignore this also. Because this derivation is not part of NCRT class 10 slips. But it's good to know. Let's solve one example, just one example to clear the concept because since this cubic polynomial derivation is not in the syllabus. In this example, we have to verify that 3 minus 1 minus 3 are 0 of this cubic polynomial function and then we have to uh, verify the relationship which we have derived. So to prove that k is a 0 of px, what we have to do? We have to just prove that pk is 0, correct? Similarly in this fashion, if we can prove that p of 3 is 0, P of minus 1 is 0 and P of minus 1 by 3 is 0. If we can prove these 3, that means we can prove that these 3 are zeros of this cubic polynomial. Let's try to find the value of P of 3. P of 3 is nothing but 3 of 3 cube minus 5 of 3 square minus 11 into 3 minus 3. That comes out to be 3 into 27 that is 81 minus 5 into 9 that is 45 minus 33 minus 3. This is nothing but 81 minus 81 and that is 0. Again let's find p of minus 1 that comes out to be 3 of minus 1 q minus 5 of minus 1 square minus 11 into minus 1 minus 3 that is minus 3 minus 5 plus 11 minus 3 and that is again if you see 11 minus 11 plus 11 that is again 0. Similarly we have to find p of minus 1 by 3 that comes out to be 3 of minus 1 by 3 q minus 5 of minus 1 by 3 square minus 11 into minus 1 by 3 minus 3 that is nothing but minus 1 by 9 minus 5 by 9 minus or is plus 11 by 3 minus 3 correct and this comes out to be minus this is minus 6 by 9 so minus 6 by 9 minus 3 plus 11 by 3. So let's form this. This is 9, 3, 27 minus 6, that is minus 33 by 9 plus 11 by 3. This 3, 3 cancel, we can cancel 3. So this becomes minus 11 by 3 plus 11 by 3. That is 0. So we have proved that P of 3, P of minus 1, and P of minus 1 by 3 is 0. Just a normal calculation. We have just put the values of x as 3, minus 1, minus 1 by 3, no rocket science. And we have seen that these are all zeros. Thus we can prove that or we can tell that 3 minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are zeros of px. Correct? 
Now since these are zeros of px, now let's try to prove a formula. So when I say alpha plus beta plus gamma, this comes out to be three plus minus one plus minus y. Correct. This comes out to be three minus uh, minus one two and minus three. This becomes five by three. Correct. And b by alpha plus beta plus gamma is nothing but b by minus b by you know minus b by is nothing but minus of minus five by a is three that is five by three. So if you see both are same. Similarly, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma comes out to be. Three into minus one plus minus one into minus one by three plus three into minus one by three. Correct. This turns out to be if you find the value, this becomes minus three plus one by three minus one, and this becomes minus three minus one minus four. This becomes uh, minus eleven by. Now we know that this is nothing but c by a, and c by a is also nothing but minus eleven by three. This is minus eleven by three. As we have seen that my c by a is nothing but alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta. Now let's try to find alpha beta gamma. That is nothing but three into minus one into minus one by minus minus cancel. Three will cancel. This becomes one, right? And minus d by a value will find minus d by is nothing but minus of minus three by three is minus of minus three by three minus minus cancel. Three will cancel. It is one. So I put this in triangle. So if you see that these two are also equal. Thus we have proved that alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus d by a. Both are five by three. Alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is nothing but C by a, that is minus eleven by three and alpha beta gamma is nothing but minus d by a, that is. So what we have done, we have first proved that three minus one and minus one by three are zero of this cubic polynomial, and then we have proved that the relation which we have derived, that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus d by a, alpha beta alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equal to gamma, is equal to c by a and alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a. Is correct. Now, thank you. Visit examfear dot com to. Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.